أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم تاريخاتنا وصلح الخير في جميع الأسطور يا سيدي asking permission from Allah the Sheikh he's carrying the position and the authority power of Irshad and Imdad guidance and you can open it, you can close it, you can't do anything. He said any place they're making zikr or doing for Mulana Sheikh, he's there. Mulana Sheikh said he was there, Sheikh Hisham, Allah bless him. He's the one making the zikr. He's the one making the safa. He's the one. It's not in the lecture, it's in the sitting. We sit and come together for his sake, for the sake of Prophet and for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Blessings comes on the group and on the listeners who are listening now, who listens later on YouTube. It'll be on Facebook also later. What's the title for this talk? Yes, Ma'arifati. What's the title for tonight? Stay here. Wa ma bi ni'mati rabbika fa hadis. Say the favors of your Lord. Give thanks for his ni'mat. Express thanks for his endless favors. If you try to count them up, you can't count them. Oh. Swimming in favors and blessings. When sometimes he makes it tight, we forget. We forget that so many favors is still with us. Oh. When we forget to be thankful and grateful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he reminds us by making favors to be withdrawn, to be taken away. Oh my Lord, what happened for this or for that issue? You weren't thanking me before, I thought you didn't care. So we put it back into the storage. Thanks to our Lord, he gave us. And he gave us once again to sit here in this happy place, in this happiness house, to come, to leave everything going outside and come in and sit. Alhamdulillah, this is his house, Allah's house. Our granddaughter said, going to Allah's house, Allah's house, to come and we sit. For us, it's as a cave, holy calf. Allah said, when you give up worshiping or running after everything out there, you leave it and run to the cave. Allah will look after all your matters. If you can't solve it yourself, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. This world is in a chaos, in an uproar. Everywhere you look, on big matters, on small matters. And Prophet Sallallahu said, and peace be upon him, Sayyidina Muhammad. When he described the times we're living in now, he said, Fitna was going to enter every house. Everywhere, fitna was going to come. Fitna is fightings, arguings, confusion, uh, all kinds of troubles and disputes between people and in this, like that, all kinds of things. It's what we're seeing. Everyone's seeing it in their lives. Comes 
shit, man. And Allah say, when that's coming, it runs with the cave. Prophet said, when you're finding, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, when you're finding the conditions of fitna, escape. Run to your home. Run to the mountain. Run to the mosque. Run to your room. Take your flock and go to the mountains. Go to the cave. Come to Allah's house. Sit and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us. To look after everything for us. And ask him to send for ourselves and for the ummah, who is the whole nation, a holy uh, rescuer, savior. Someone who comes with heavenly power to save this world from chaos, from fitness, to make everything clear and straight. It's a time when every good good thing is known as bad. The prophet said, whatever is good, most people will be shown that it's no good. You go to the internet, they say, oh, this is good, this is good, this is good. All of it's no good, but it shows it's good. And everyone thinks this is the best thing, especially for young people. Shaitan after young minds to mold them the way he likes. And every uh, good thing is shown as no good. If there is a good thing in this world that's good for people to do it, it's spread everywhere. No, this is no good. Don't approach. Don't do it. Don't enter there. Don't entertain such ideas. To believe in Allah to believe in Prophet to believe in heavenly power, to believe in uh, holy things. Don't believe. Don't approach. This is for idiots. This is an old-fashioned idea. The new-fashioned idea. Allah Sheikh Nazim, Allah bless them, used to say, to be your head like a football for shaitan. Pick any way he wants. Allah be ni'mati rabbika fa hadith. And to remember to be thankful for Allah's favors, His blessings. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Everyone has to carry something. No one can escape without this life without carrying some burdens. Something. No one can carry the other ones. Burden enough to carry it. We were in a place one time and in London. And the people in the next building were playing some crazy loud music crazy music, something. And somebody uh, was complaining to Malana Sheikh, should we go tell them to stop it? He said, no. Everyone has to carry. If they're not carrying it, we might have to carry it. <laughs> Everyone's carrying something. Aulia are carrying the burdens of their followers, their people. Somebody wants to be a sheikh or a khalifa or a kutub or a commander or they have to know it's a heavy and harmful burden. They have to carry all the sufferings of their people. They have to know them from beginning to the end, from their beginning to their destination, from the day of promises to the day of resurrection. 
can't carry it, you can't fake it. Somebody has to carry it. We were in Cyprus one time. It was the night of the uh, that year. I forgot which year it was. It was the elections in France. The president or Tony was president in France or prime minister. I forgot. The French president, it was the elections. This was back in the long time ago. And Mohammed Sheikh was entertaining some Turkish guests, and they were telling him uh, jokes, stories to make him in a good mood. They say, Ah, Molala, and he's going, Ah, ha, ha, ha. Say, yeah, ha, 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 ha. And then all of a sudden, Saw Malana Sheikh, he began to get, get occupied with something that none of us could see. Almost you could see the air buzzing over his head, shimmering. The people didn't notice that. They're saying jokes. Oh, Malana. And he's going, eh. And he was staring <laughs> straight ahead in a trance, seeing something none of us were seeing. Finally, the people noticed and everyone got quiet, waiting to see what Mulana Sheikh was going to say. He came out of his trance. He said, SubhanAllah, tonight is the night of the elections in that big country in France. And all the candidates are running for that chair to sit in there, to be president, to be president. But no one realizes until they sit there what a harmful chair it is, what a heavy burden it is. But the view from outside and the view from inside is completely different. And from, for Tariqat also, if it's that way for a president or a prime minister, what about to be uh, Sheikh, really Sheikh? One thinks what it might be like. Carrying, carrying, carrying. And Sheikh Shafadin Dagestani, 40 years or 60 years, was carrying. Then Sheikh Abdul carrying. Rana Sheikh carrying. Took a heavy burden. Rana Sheikh Hisham. To run after that. You can't carry it. There is a hadith that Rasulullah <laughs> one time he was going to get up on his ride, on his horse or his camel or his donkey, what he was going to ride on that day. And one of the Sahaba came to put his hands like this. The Prophet should put his holy foot in his, make his certainly climb up onto the horse. Let's say it's a horse. And Prophet said to him, Oh, perhaps it was Jabra. Ya Jabra, you and everyone and everyone on earth and in heavens, if power is not coming from heaven, couldn't lift me onto that. No one can carry what Prophet was carrying. What he's carrying through his holy body. Physical body, even there's a power, there's something being carried, a burden. No one can carry that. All you are given a portion from that to carry, and it's a huge weight. They're carrying it. We can't carry even a fly. The people are running to. We can't do. Everything depends on him. Everything depends on him. If he's Carrying, if he's opening that uh, power, yes, it's carried. But the one thinking he's carrying, no, he's carrying. If you think you're making zikr, no, he's making zikr. If you think you give a talk, no, he gave the talk. If he turns it off, he, uh, you can't say anything. When stroke comes, you can't speak. You can't say anything. What happened to your cleverness? Hey, hey, wake up, I can't wake up. 
through his hands. Our life is through his hands. Through Allah's hands. As he delegates the power, the authority coming down through ranks. No one can be proud. No one can uh, claim themselves to be anything. Any moment, he can cut it and show us our real level. Because we have nothing. We can't do anything. We ask our Lord forgiveness Amen. for all his favors. We forgot to thank him for that. For everything he gave us, we forgot to say, you did it, oh our Lord. You gave us even our life. You made it to be. It's a kind of meditation. One of the things that Sayyid Abu Khalif of Gujjuani, Allah bless him, one of the pillars, the grand sheikhs of this tariqah, he used to teach to be aware of your breath. And they talk in, in books of meditation, different techniques for your breath. Just to think even, oh my Lord, thanks to you gave. Grand Sheikh was doing one meditation to be thankful on every inhaling and thankful on every exhaling. Try it. You can't do for one minute even. It's a heavy burden after 15, 20 seconds. Huh? Grand Sheikh was doing it. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Two times. Thanks to you. Alhamdulillah. Wa shukru To be thankful. To be thankful. But we spend our time opposite of thankful to complain. Thank you. We think we reached a high situation. Allah Sheikh said. Close your eyes sometimes. You want to be a Meditating person, yes, Mulana, I want to fly. You want to fly? Okay, first, let's check the instruments. When the pilot comes into the cockpit, they do a pre-flight check. Isn't it? This is working, flaps are working, everything is going. Co-pilot is drunk or is okay. <laughs> You're sitting. Do a pre-flight check on yourself if you want to fly. What's that check, Mulana? Close your eyes, listen to yourself. What's your equipment saying? What's your uh, computer saying? What's your ego saying? What's your channel saying? I'm listening to my ego. It's too loud. It's too soft. It's too hot. It's too cold. It's too this. It's too that. Doesn't stop complaining ever. Everything is an endless complaint. And then you catch it and make it to give, give thanks. It runs with its complaints when it continues. He said, even if you bring everything to your ego to serve it, oh, my ego, what can I get you? Bring me water. This one? No, I want this one. Fiji one. This is perfect. <laughs> you bring the Fiji one. No, I heard there's one they have from the mountains of Alaska. It's really glass crystal. I have to have that one. You bring it. Hey, what's that? No, there must be a better one than that. No matter what you get, you're not, the ego's not satisfied. Wants more. Wants something else. So we have to try to stop it. And the way to stop it, or one of the ways to stop it, to be thankful. Alhamdulillah wa shukrillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, oh my Lord. Your endless favors. Thank you. Thank you. You look after me. How I'm going to get up. Ya Adul Maharaj. You're the Lord of ascending. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he went on Isra and Miraj, he didn't say he went, he said he was taken. Subhanallah asura bi abdihi. Glory to the one who carried his servant through the seven heaven. He took, he was taken. He was taken. He didn't say, I'm going to flap my wings and fly up with my power. He was called and carried every step. Oh, our Lord, everything is in your hands. And we're so weak. And every day so many things come to make it difficult.
goals for us. Keep us strength, uh, support, tabitna, strengthen us with sabbat. Sabbat agdamana. Plant our feet firmly, not to shake. Make us to be firm and straight on the way to Allah. When the Sheikh said, he made a test for everyone. What you're going to do if your Sheikh disappears? Sheikh is sick. We can't, we can't find him as before. To ask a question of what we're going to do. And people are doing it. No. Amam, straight ahead. We have to go. Rabbana Afrigalina Sabra. The Sabbath Akdama. Make us to be straight. To keep his orders. To keep his ways. To follow. Shaykh Mohideen, Allah bless him. May he look to our meeting, our humble meeting for the honor of Allah Sheikh. He said, a poem, he quoted a famous Arabic poem, I don't know the Arabic. When the smoke clears, we see who's sitting on a uh, horse, who's sitting on an ass, <laughs> sitting on a donkey. He'd make us to be on horses. I mean, not to change. One step on belief, one step on no belief. We love you, we love you, we don't love you, we don't. Allah help us and plant our feet and support us to our shaykh. You can't change uh, Allah's decree. He knows what he decreed. Allah Sheikh Hashem used to, Allah bless him, raise him higher and higher, he used to tell a tale or a story. There was a worried, a follower of a Sheikh. He was advanced. He was doing all kinds of zikr and meditation and makaba and fasting and seclusions and everything else. And he had a vision. He, he was seeing in Islam, we believe in something called the Lahu Mahfuz, the preserved tablet where everything, <coughs> destiny is written. He reached to that dimension or that level or that plane where he was able to read the preserved tablet of destiny and he saw it came to the part where it's written who is in paradise and who is written for hell Jahannam. And he's reading the names on one side and on the other side and he sees What's that? He sees his sheikh's name written on the occupants occupants of Jahannam. Oh, this is terrible. I have to fix it. I have to fix it with my power. Allah gave me. And he went back to his seclusion and his meditation and his maqaba and his everything he was doing. He's, uh, he's doing, doing, doing finally able by the power Allah gave him to move his sheikh's name from the inhabitants of hell, Jahannam, to the inhabitants of Jannah, paradise. He was very proud of himself. Inshallah, he did a good job today. He ran to his sheikh, and the sheikh was waiting for him. Step one foot in here, I'm going to break you like this miswalk. Yeah. Unless you put my name back where you found it, I don't want to see you again. I saw my name there 40 years. That's Allah's decree. He knows why you put that. Don't change what you. Okay. <laughs> 
Allah knows. We don't know what we're seeing. We don't know the ending of things. They know the outward appearance of, you know the ayat? They know the outward appearance of this life, but of the unseen, they don't know it. They know only the outward, what they see, the hidden aspects, they don't know it. Akhirah, Akhirah has a big meaning. It doesn't mean only life after death, it means everything, the hidden results, you don't know it. They, Allah knows. He makes to know, they know. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us patient and make us to be uh, hard working. We see the 10 days of Dhul Hijrah coming. Whatever you can do from goodness, try to do it. Praying or fasting or charities or whatever you can do, do it. At least, at least Arafat. And tell people to do something, I'm not going to do it myself. Ramadan well, Sheikh said Arafat was not Shabani to fast. Ramadan, six days of Shawa. Uh, Arafat and Ashura. Other days as you like. Those are uh, strong for Naqshabandi. At least for Arafat, try to keep the fast of that day. If you want to fast ten days or Three days or odd days or any days of Dohid for Bismillah. May Allah grant us the blessings of this uh, month Amen. and to be able to eat the fruits that Muhammad is giving Amen. daily and nightly to enter the cave of happiness for giving. Amen. If we can't ourselves go in to take at least. Maybe by the, if we sit by the door, they might give some fruits outside. There's one pig, there's one candy. What they're eating in there? Never mind, you can't come in, but here, take this. This is good for Fatima. Amin, Amin, Amin. What was the title of that talk? We didn't know. <laughs> Be thankful for the, Allah's favors. Say, Allah blessed me with his favors. Amen. 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 Amen.